Hello everyone, Obi Mandam here and welcome to Let's Play Infraspace, a game that mixes city skylines with Factorio, that's what I read. Um, I like both of these games but I was not particularly good at any of these, so let's hope the combination works better for me. Um, I haven't seen or played any of this before, except for a 5 minute um, just test recording of audio settings and stuff like that. So um, what you're going to see is basically um, yeah, a genuine first expression, first impression, and also um, all the struggle that will arise is 100% real. So um, if you have any tips, if you see me doing something completely wrong, as usual, feel free to comment. We will bring back the comment of the day, of course, after the first episode. Um, let's get started. We will, uh, well, let's try with easy. As I said, I'm not particularly good at Factorio or City Skylands, um, even though I start from scratch all the time. I think I have both games still installed on my PC, so from time to time <laughs> I just start one of the games and then after half an hour, one hour, I just get lost. So let's see that things turn out easier over here. Um, oh, by the way, we are playing the um, Traffic Lights um, update that was um, released I think a month ago or so and that the patch notes were great so there was a lot of stuff added and fixed so let's see how things turn out all right so we are on this lovely looking desert planet well, that looks that doesn't look really inviting but okay um yeah so we are not on earth we are um yeah, in space apparently so that's that's great um, I turn on the tutorial just to help us getting started. Um, you can place your buildings next to roads. Yeah, that's that's great. So let's let's just start with some roads. Uh, I think the first thing we are going to need uh, is sulfur. Um, I remember that from the test recording. So let's do something like that. Nice. All right. So we have a road. Uh, now we need a sulfur mine. That needs to be placed. I think it just needs to touch one of these sulfur tiles. So we can place one maybe just, just right there. That's fine. Okay, we have that. Now we need a sand mine uh, over here. And uh, for sand mines, I think we need multiple of these. So let's, let's build one over here. Uh, next part. Um, wait a second. I'd like to have a road going through. Um, I've seen that um, all of these buildings you can see here, oh wait, we can just place it down. Um, they have, um, that's pretty basic factorial stuff, so this is the input. We need two sulfur and one sand and that will produce four concrete in 9.6 seconds. So we have to take a look at the ratios, for example, this one needs 12 seconds for one sand, so we definitely need more of these. Um, the sulfur is uh, 2.4 seconds for one, which means it's 4.8 for two. So we can, uh, this one sulfur mine can support two of these factories and we need more of that. So yeah, that's uh, that's something that um, we remember from the end of series. So balancing production is also a big thing in here. It, that's great because um, balancing production is fun in my opinion. So um, next up, energy. We have wind turbines. Um, the radius you can see around this wind turbine is um, basically um, if these radius overlap, the wind turbines will lose efficiency. So you can see this wind turbine over here right next to it will just have zero efficiency or 1%. And if you go out over here, 75, 79, 86, 93, and over here it's 100. So um, we should try to do that. Um, Okay, so now we need to use power tools to connect our wind turbine like that with our factories. All right, so that's working. Um, let's build a road over here. I know that um, we already have our first crossroad and 
from my very limited um, success in uh, uh, City Skylines, I know that crossroads are usually bad, but that's just how I'll start to build it every time. So we will see if we need to optimize some of these stuff. We will leave some room between uh, our areas so we can add more power poles, more rows, change layouts easily. Um, oh, but speaking of changing layouts, there's also a move function over here, so we can move these buildings around. Um, that will cost half of what the buildings originally cost. So that's okay. Um, let's continue. We need a construction material storage that's over here. Oh, that's yeah, that was a big building. Um, let's put that I don't know next to the sulfur mine. Let's see, we can add one more over here, one more over here, one more right there. Then we have a road. Wait. Let's see where we can actually build these. We can build one over here. One right there, over here, and over here. Oh, this works as well. Let's just place that right here. Um, have a road in here. That yeah, I know that this type of building uh, layout looks like Anno, <laughs> not like cities or Factorio, but that's just what I'm used to. So, get rid of this, get rid of that. Okay, now we need to build basic habitats, so let's extend our road in this direction, just to give some space, um, and then we will start building habitats right here. And after that we need an atmospheric processor right next to it. Uh, let's just add another habitat over here, uh, and then we need a spaceport to attract more people. And the spaceport, well, I don't know, let's give it some room, maybe something like that. Connect it up with a road. And now we need more energy. Um, and that, yeah, we can put that in here. And then we need power poles. Um, let's see, we can have, how much range do these have? The range is great. Yeah, let's just plop one down right here. That's fine. Okay, so now we need to reach a population of 22 people. We can speed up the game real quick. Um, I think there will be a spaceship landing soon. I don't know. Um, there is the spaceship. Okay, so you can see this atmosphere processor is now making oxygen. Um, yeah, that was that was a, a nice trick by the devs. So this one, the atmospheric processor, I tried to build that next to the habitats. Um, or, yeah, try tried to build that next to the habitats. So you can see there's the oxygen truck that delivers the oxygen. It doesn't have to drive that far around, but the atmospheric processor does not only produce oxygen, it also produces carbon, and that's needed in potentially in some factory, so um, that needs to be transported away from here as well. So um, yeah, it's not that easy to have everything that shares resources right next to each other to prevent large traffic um, or to prevent traffic congestion. But we will see, we will see. Let's add a second sand line right here. Um, so having enough concrete in the beginning, I think is, is critical. Uh, the power pole does not reach all that way. Let's see, we need... Maybe we can just add another wind turbine to this area as well. Let's do something like that. And another power pole. Good here. Yeah, these turbines are extremely expensive. They cost 50 concrete each. And we, at the moment, have uh, 94. Okay, so um, that should solve the sand problem. Next thing we need is a research lab. Let's see, the research lab is not a big building. We can slap that. Um, let's add it right here. It's okay. And then you build the blue science factory. Oh, that looks familiar. Okay, so first step is blue science. Um, 
don't know what this actually requires in terms of resources. Let's just put it over here. Let's see. It requires iron ore and carbon. Okay, so having these right next uh, to the oxygen processors, that makes sense. That solves the, uh, the carbon issue. Build a power pole. Um, and now... Oh, wait a second. We can start to make... Yeah, to research farming. Um, and now we need to provide iron ingots. Or well, iron... Is it iron ore? What is it? Iron ore. Okay, no ingots. And I think for iron ore, we can just extend the road all the way to maybe right here. Let's go right there. That's iron, right? It is. And then we use an iron mine. There. And then I guess we will need power over here. Let's build a wind turbine. Easy as that. Power pole. Uh, right here. Okay, oh, let's see how many we need. So this takes 20 seconds and it requires two iron ore. And this three seconds. Okay, so this one iron mine is definitely enough. Um, how much? This takes 16 seconds for one carbon. 20. Okay, so one... Whenever we add an additional atmosphere processor for more oxygen, we can add another science lab. Okay, I like that. Um, let's take a look at this. No, that's the city level. Ooh. How many people are living? Level 1 citizens, level 2 citizens. We need 5 level 2 citizens. Okay, I haven't seen how that works yet. We'll see. Production overview. Oh, that's also nice. Yeah, that's the control Q menu from Anno. So we will see how much we produce and how much we consume. So at the moment, we are producing 80 power and we just require 9. Okay, so maybe we should just build more power poles in, except, uh, instead of um, wind turbines at the moment. Um, sulfur is fine. Sand, oh, this is sand. This is sulfur. Everything is fine. I think to speed up city construction, I think we will need a lot more concrete later. So let's just add another concrete factory. Um, right here. Oh nice, we need to select new research. Um, steel production or electronics. One-way roads. Oh, this requires green science. Okay, so that does not work. Uh, let's go with electronics. Okay, we can have simple farms. We'll do that next. Um, and at first, I would like to sort out... Yeah, we're not producing enough sand. So let's do this. We need another sand mine. Okay. And now sulfur is also... But that's just barely not enough. Uh... 2.4 well it should be that's 2.4 seconds so we need to multiply that by 4 and that's 9.6 and that's exactly what this reads here so that should be fine no idea what's going wrong over here but that's okay um okay next step simple farm let's go to life support and a simple farm provides one meal uh where will we have our farming area Well, I have absolutely no idea. Maybe we can just add that next to the next to the housing area. That's a tiny building. Well, we can't even fit one in here. Let's see. If we do... I think in the housing area, we can work with grids. Maybe in the uh, at some point, it might be a bad idea. But for the start, we can do that, I think. Okay, let's see. We're producing more than enough of everything, except for sulfur, but that's okay. Um, satisfy the needs of your habitats until they automatically upgrade. Okay, so that means we now just have to wait.
Oh, that's a really tiny settlement. Just two habitats supplying enough people for all of this. Really curious to see how big these cities can actually get. Okay, but with all of this production available, let's see, uh, carbon is fine. They need, just need oxygen and survival food. So I think we can definitely add oops. We can definitely add some more habitats. Let's do that. Habitation. Two more. What do we have here? Recreation. That's a park, stadium, school. We now have unlocked the copper mine and electronics. Uh, let's unlock steel production. Home appliances, okay. And the green science pack factory. Yeah, after steel production. Can we queue these? No, we can't. Okay. Fulfill additional needs to upgrade. Yeah, so production looks good. I think we are just waiting for. Uh, oh, if you click this, we can see what this factory actually supplies. So it now brought four survival food to this habitat. So that's just really a matter of waiting for stuff to come in. The production looks good. It just takes some time to fill up. So I think, yeah, they, they, they've been provided with four survival food and that will take way longer to consume than um, what the factory will need in time to provide them with the next batch. So they are already full. Okay, so at the moment we are playing the waiting game. I just need to get used to it. Let's see what, what else we have. We have uh, districts. Ooh. Oh, we can mark these. Direct the mouse cursor between districts to create an export rule. Districts without export rules can export goods anywhere. Oh, so we can... Yeah, we finished the tutorial. Great. Do we have a level 2 habitat? It's this one. Oh, that looks great. Okay, so if I understand this correct, we can make districts and then we can say this district can only export to a certain other district. And if we don't say that, it will export everywhere. So that's just a way of... Um, yeah, preventing traffic to go from one side of the of the map to the complete opposite just because there's some request. I think we need that later, but not yet. So, um, what did we unlock? We unlocked the copper mine. We unlocked the electronics factory that needs copper and iron ore to make electronics. And we have the steel mill that needs... Oh, we need more carbon over here. Is there a way to get carbon? Let's see. Aluminum, uranium, iridium. No carbon. Is there a factory that can create carbon? Home appliances, computer, home robot, industrial, high tech. VR entertainment factory. Propellum, AI control unit. Oh. Red science packs. Recycling center, soil enrichment facility. Oh, we have train stations. Wait. Where are train tracks? Is it somewhere around here? Train signals? Gravel road? Oh, rails. We have rails, high-speed rail and lightning rail. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Well, let's take a look at research. Um, we unlocked steel production. That's great. Um, and we are on our way to unlock green, green science. Can we see what we need for green science? We will need blue science, sulfur, and electronics. Okay, so I, I think we should set up electronics factory. Um, problem is we have iron ore over here and over here and over there. There's no oh, copper over here. Well, that's not that far off. Okay, that's fine. Um, now the question is, oh, there's more iron ore. How much iron are we currently requiring? just need six yeah 
Yeah, I, I think we don't need to set, um, to make different areas for, for that much stuff at the moment. There's barely any cars on the road, so let's solve um, car problems if they arrive. Uh, reverse road, reverse road. Oh, we, oh, oh, look at that, we have four levels of road, super highway. Currently we are making gravel roads, really? Oh, that's one-way roads, right? Yeah, it is. Concrete road. Okay, so yeah, we have lots of stuff to do. Um, I don't want to reverse, I want to place roads, okay. Um, let's just connect another road right here. Something like this. And then we will just add a single copper mine. here we need power like this like this maybe yeah we should have the power poles um, at least two away from the road so we can use this space so now we have copper and that means we can now build electronic factories That's a tiny factory. Um, let's add one right here, and then let's also connect. Or maybe we can do. Let's try a curved road over here just to see how that works. Um, so I want one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need this and now build a curved road let's see how that works uh, okay not the way I expected it to work that's not how it works in build curved road snap road length snap angles okay so this is not making a curve as I expected Okay, in this case, no curve. It's fine. We'll do this. Um, let's see. There was already a car going this way. Delivery truck. Oh, you can even see where they are going. That's great. Oh, this needs electri tr electricity. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's do this. And then just connect over to this area. Like so. Okay, that's fine. Now let's take a look at the production. Uh, production is still good. So maybe we should just add more of these factories. Just like this. That's still fine. 7.9? Does this even go up? Consumption is now 9.8, and just for uh, experimental purposes, we'll build another one. 11. Point, okay, it does. It just takes a long time to produce this stuff, so maybe just let's just stay with stick with two of these. Okay. Oh yeah, the traffic light update, as far as I know, from what I've heard in the patch notes, you can now click crossroads. Ooh, look at that. And you can change how they work. So you can say the phases. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of stuff we can fix over here. We can Okay, we can bring this up. Oh man, okay, this is really great. I like that. We can change, we can 
go first. We can just add lights, uh, traffic signs. Oh, nothing at all. Let's just keep everything on default for the moment. What about these roads? Is this something like a lane? Oh man, there's a lot of stuff to do in this game. That's great. Okay, we can we will figure that out. It's fine. Um, so what next? We we are working on green science research. Um, we are still lacking sulfur, so maybe we should just just add another sulfur factory, uh, sulfur mine. Let's do this. Place this right here. Might need to upgrade these soon. Where are the better roads? roads and concrete roads okay so the roads will unlock as soon as we have green signs available that's great um, and for the green signs we are already preparing electronics and we are also stocking uh, stocking up sulfur this is a global storage for construction material do we have storage for other stuff no we just have the sign Oh wow, we can even give that... Can we change the sign, what it says? Oh, we will. Oh, wait. We can even change the font size and the font. Dude, that's sick. Oh, how awesome is that? I want one of these. Oh, that's too small. Got a size 3. Yeah, that fits in here. Uh, Semi-bold. Oh, that looks weird. Yeah, look at that. We'll have this right next to the to the road. Bam. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see, what's the progress? We are currently making we are making electronics which we use for nothing. Can we use that? We have this we have the steel mill. <gasps> did, we, did we use all of the steel for the sign? We did, and we are not making any new steel, but that's not good. Um, so we need to add some steel factories, and they need carbon and iron. Um, carbon is produced in the city center, so far only from the oxygen things. But I guess that makes sense to do this. Yeah, now we are lot, uh, very low on carbon. Uh, what's oxygen levels doing? Oxygen is fine. So I think what we're going to do next is we will just add more of these um, atmospheric processor processors. Let's add one right here and see. Production is now fine. But that also means we should be able to add a lot more habitats. Let's just do this, have another block of them right here. Yeah, I really hope that this grid system will not kill us, but that's fine. Let's take a look at the production. Yeah, it's still looking good. Um, oxygen and food is crazy. Um, yeah, but it won't, these habitats are empty, so we need to wait them for them to fill up, I think. Oh, and we unlock green signs. That's great. Green signs. Ooh, they need... Oh, they need steel. <laughs> the factory needs steel to, to produce. Oh, no. Um, and this needs to be brought to the, to the storage over here. Uh, which is not good. Let's add another construction storage. It just cost 12. It's a giant building, but it doesn't cost that much. So let's add one right here and let's also add another steel mill ah, carbon again it's fine um, oh there are bigger processors as well uh, let's do yeah, let's do one more over here it's okay or actually, hmm, that's the farm. 
Yeah, we will just add one more of these habitat on this residential squares over here. Oh, that needs power. It's okay. Let's give that thing power over here. That's fine. And if we then finish this grid over here, like that, do this now what we can do is uh, let's go to this we can put two of these in here that's great so why do you not have oh because this is not connected damn it oh it cannot go over buildings i think is that the problem Yeah, it cannot go over buildings. Look at that. The okay, so we really have to be careful about the energy. Uh, energy lines. Okay, that's interesting. That's a nice... That's a nice... Wait a minute. If the... Oh, they can go over... No, they cannot go over this. There's no connection over here. I think they will just stay here because um, we built the habitat after the power pole. If that makes sense. Okay, wow, well, that's great. Why does this not connect? Okay, that's weird. This connection should definitely work. Can you just cross? Look at this. There's a connection going from all the way here to here. But power pole to... There's even a connection over here this way. So why is this not connecting? I'm lost. I don't know why that happens. Or is that because of the power we're producing? No, power levels are still fine. So... Okay, let's do some experimenting. Okay, now this works. It's just that one thing that does not connect properly. connection is working again okay I don't understand I really don't let's get rid of this maybe I I, I didn't fully get how power poles work Okay, um, but it's working now. So let's see. We now have enough production of everything. Uh, green science packs are done. We have enough steel. We should be able to build a green, a green science lab. And it needs um, electronics, sulfur, and blue science. So um, I would like to bring that maybe in between. Maybe just next to them. Yeah, let's just do this. How much time does this need? It needs 60 seconds. And that needs 20 seconds. Okay, so green science really takes a long time. Oh, if they are adjacent to each other, they will produce 8% more? Because it is next to the blue science. Okay, that's that's awesome. Let's 
let's see. So if we add another, how much do you produce? Uh, oh, that's the research lab. Um, and we haven't selected any research home appliances. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, we're not producing enough blue science, so let's add another one. Blue science. And now we need more iron ore and, and again more carbon. Yeah, now things start to behave as expected. Now let's not add this connection yet. I think I would like to connect maybe to here. Just to um, get away from these uh, crossroads all the time. Um, so we need more iron ore. That should be easy. Iron mine right here. Solved. And um, really curious to see if there is, if there will be something that also produces carbon, but there is not. They're just making plants. Oh, there is a carbon processor that just creates carbon and no oxygen. Oh, we can separate these two later. Why is that research? Particle filters over here. It needs yellow science. Oh, right. So that's a long way to go. Um, but yeah, I, I just realized we are already 30 minutes into the video, or more than 30 minutes. Um, let's just add one more carbon or one more of these processors somewhere where we will add another. Maybe, maybe right here. We'll do this. Uh, we'll add another farm right here, and then we'll build habitats around it. Let's quickly do this. So one right here, one there, one there. All done. Production overview looking good. And that's exactly where we are going to leave for oh no, wait, I need to fix the power pole. Um please read more in a minute. I think maybe that works. Oh we basically need to you need to drag wait a second, yeah. So if you start right here to try and build one of these, it doesn't work, it doesn't connect. So what you do is you connect, you click on this power pole and if you then drag it out, then you will get the result that you were expecting. So we can now start to place these, oh, it will even place multiple of these in perfect sequence. Aha, so that's how power poles work. Gotcha. All right. Um, next thing on the list would be home appliances, but that's something for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.